Okay, so we learned what tokens are. Uh, we said that uh, they are an object that have a type, a lexeme, the actual uh, value, and possibly line number. Okay, so for example, uh, we have the token type of number, um, the lexeme, which is a string, 44, and the actual value, which evaluates to 44, the number 44, and maybe line one. So now that we understand what tokens are, uh, we need to look at how these tokens are generated. And so for that, we will have to talk about the scanner. So it's the job of the scanner for to read the source and to produce tokens from that source. Okay. So the key thing is the, the scanner needs to remember where it is at all times in the source. Because remember, the source is a string. And so we need to know, the scanner needs to know where it is and where it's going. Okay. And so for that, you notice that a scanner will have a field, right? It will need state. It will need to remember the source. Uh, it will need the ability to store the tokens once they are found. And of course, it needs to remember where the tokens start and where along the source uh, it's currently looking at. And so for that, we need to create these variables uh, which will store that state. Okay, so in summary, we have the source that goes into the scanner, okay? And then the, the scanner is supposed to produce a list of tokens. So fundamentally, this is what the scanner is supposed to do. And the scanner uses these uh, variables to help achieve that. Okay, so let's get to it. Let's uh, write some code to see how we could actually uh, implement a scanner. So I created a file named uh, scanner.go. And the first thing I want to do is to specify the scanner type. Okay. And the scanner will have a field for the source, which is of course a string. Uh, it will have a field to store the tokens. Okay, so that will be a slice. So I'm gonna say list of tokens, okay, which will be a slice of type token. Okay. And then, of course, we need to create a variable to hold where the token start and a variable to keep track of where we are in the string, okay, in the source, which we'll call current. Okay, so these uh, fields effectively give us uh, the ability to create a scanner. And let's create a function that creates a scanner given a source. Okay, so once we provide a source, okay, then we will create a scanner, okay, and return it. And notice it's a pointer to a scanner simply because we only want, uh, in this case, one instance of that scanner. All right, so we need, to, we need to pass, create the scanner and pass the address of that scanner because we want to operate on the scanner object itself. So to do that, I'm going to simply return the address of a scanner, okay, which I have created and initialized with the source that is passed in. Um, the list of tokens will be initialized to an empty slice of token. Okay. And then of course, uh, the start will be initialized to zero and the current will be also initialized to zero. So this gives us the ability to create a new scanner. Okay. So, once I have that function created, the next thing I want to do is to actually create a function that will actually do the job 
of going through the source and finding those tokens. So I will leave it here for now. Uh, but when we return in the next video, we will implement that uh, method. Okay, so let's set it up right now. Okay, so it's a method on the scanner uh, type, which I will call um, look for tokens. Okay, and what it will return is a slice of type token. Okay, so let's leave it here, and when you come back, we will write the code for this uh, method.